Now, thank you for listening to my uh, introduction about uh, marginal analysis and consumer choices. And since we have finished our first unit about basic economic concepts, we are going to do a short wrap up about it. And I've thought a lot about how would it be efficient to wrap up, but this is well, how I'm going to do. I'm going to talk about the key terms throughout this unit and maybe discuss them very short, maybe like a five to 10 seconds about it. And while listening to this video, if you can't understand or recall what this certain term is, or if you are unfamiliar with it, unfamiliar with this concept, you can go back to my other videos, watch it, understand it, practice it, and more. Let's begin. The scarcity is referring to a situation in which uh, certain goods that which we have unlimited needs about it are limited. So limited quantities and limited goods conflict with our unlimited needs. And that is why we have to make choices. And that is why opportunity costs occur, which is the next best alternative. And also there are four factors of production, whether it's land, labor, capital, and entrepreneurship. And there are also three questions of economics that every economy has to answer. What are we going to produce? How are we going to produce? And who is going to get the produced? And the types of economy differ from how they answer the three questions. In the command economy, the government answers the questions. In the market economy, the market itself answers the questions without regulations. And in the mixed economy, which most of the countries are currently implementing, the balance between the, common, between the command economy and the market economy to find a certain point in which they believe that they can uh, gain both equality and efficiency. The production possibilities curve is a curve which talks about all the possible choices of production between two goods, good X and Y. The production possibilities curve is usually bowed out and it can shift right, shift right as the economy grows. Moving on. The absolute advantage refers to an advantage in which a certain producer has uh, can produce more quantities compared to the other. So for example, if I can produce uh, 10 bottles of uh, water and you can produce 20 bottles of water, then it means that you have an absolute advantage to produce something. In contrast, the comparative advantage talks about the efficiency. So which producer can produce effic more efficiently? Which producer can produce with a smaller opportunity cost? And in a trade, we think about the comparative advantage more than the absolute advantage. So usually both sides of the trade specialize in which they have a comparative advantage on and they produce it and then they trade it, trade it at a price between the opportunity cost of both sides in order to gain from them and consume at a point in which they cannot earn in their own production possibilities curve. An explicit cost is referring to the pocket money that you have to give out for doing something. And the implicit cost is the opportunity cost that you have to give up by making a choice. The marginal cost refers to the cost that you have to uh, pay for it for uh, consuming an additional unit of a certain good or service, while the marginal benefit refers to the additional benefit you receive from consuming another unit. The total utility refers to the utility as a whole from consuming a certain number of products, maybe three, four, five, whatever, while the marginal utility is talking about the additional utility or satisfaction that you receive from purchasing or consuming uh, another unit of it. Finally, the law of diminishing marginal utility refers to the concept that the marginal utility keeps decreasing and decreasing and eventually goes to a negative number as the quantity increases. So that was a little bit fast, but I hope that if you have listened to my video thoroughly or maybe just used another learning materials, you better understand all these key concepts and terms before you move on to the, to the next unit or study for AP exams. So this was it. Don't forget to go back to my other videos if you cannot possibly understand a certain term or a certain uh, concept. Uh, don't forget to leave a like to this video, subscribe to our channel. And